Hello and welcome to Terms and Conditions Checkbox. My name is Zishan and I'm from the support team of Effective Apps. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily add and configure a Terms and Conditions Checkbox in your Shopify store. Before starting, please make sure that you have created a page in your Terms and Conditions or Privacy Policy. You can also use Shopify's Terms and Conditions Generator, as you can see on the screen, in order to easily create your store's Terms and Conditions. Now, first of all, you have to make sure that you have the Terms and Conditions app installed in your Shopify store. And once you have the app installed in your store, you can refer to the app section, click on the Terms and Conditions checkbox app, and you will be here, which is the app dashboard. Now, scroll down in order to enable the app from here. Click this button and click Save. Now that the app is enabled, you also have to make sure that you refer to the themes section. Scroll down, click customize on the live theme. Click app embeds and enable the app embed for terms and conditions checkbox and click save. This is just to make sure that the app is also enabled and so are the theme embeds so the app can fully function in your store. After you've made sure that the app embed is also enabled, you can go ahead and configure the terms and conditions. You can write down your own text to the terms and conditions, which would be here. And you can also add multiple policy links, which you can do so by changing the checkbox type to custom design. After that, you can add multiple policy links here. For example, you only have to highlight the text where you want to add the link. Click this button, add the policy link here, and click Save. And as you can see, the policy link has been added. Also, you can have the checkbox appear for specific products, or you only have to click this button choose certain product for which you want to appear so in this case i've chosen this product after selecting the product click add and click save you can also have it appear for certain countries you can select this option and choose the countries of your choice and you can also have the consent date and time of the customer logged into the order details. Once this option is enabled, the consent date of time of the customer will be appearing in the additional details section of their order. Lastly, you can also have the checkbox appear in the register and login pages. So you can choose any of these options. So in this case, I've chosen it to appear in both in register and login pages and click save. Now that we've made all the changes, let's see how it's appearing in the store. Now, if you remember, I had chosen the checkbox to appear for this product. So I'll add this product to cart. As you can see here, it is appearing in the slide card as well. Now let's see if it's appearing in the cart page as well. As you can see, it is appearing in the cart page and if I try to click checkout, it gives me a pop-up notification that I have to agree to terms and conditions before checking out. So I can only click here and then I will be only able to proceed to the checkout. So the app has been enabled and configured as well. So that was it. If you have any questions or queries, you can always reach out to the support team via chat or email anytime. And we will be more than happy to help you. Thank you and have a great day.